Got it. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Good friend. Evening. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. How are you today? Uh, we're good. It didn't rain on the way back home. That's the news. Yeah, that's good, you know. <laughs> Same here. It didn't rain. Okay, so let's wait for your classmates. We're going to give them two extra minutes so they can come. So yesterday we didn't have class, you know, I had a real emergency. I couldn't be here, you know, I was uh, trying to move from my home to another one so I could get the internet connection, but I couldn't, you know, I couldn't. So I do apologize because I wasn't able to be here on time. But here we are, now I'm ready, you know, I'm ready. So let's wait for your uh, time. Yes, that's so. okay. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay, I'm ready. So let me see. It's eight o'clock already. Let's start with the class. Thank you so much for joining on time. You know, uh, as you may remember, during the first class on Monday, we were mm -hmm. having this topic, you know, this grammar topic. Do you remember what was this topic about? What is the name of this uh, topic? The yeah, uh, the gerunds. Gerunds, very good job. We were working on that one, gerunds, you know, because this is part of unit number one. So we were practicing, making some exercises, you know, and we were uh, having a, a, a little discussions about some questions that we have in unit number one. So for today, we are going to conclude with those activities as well. So remember, I want you and I need you to have the student's book because we're gonna be checking some exercises. So you need to be ready with that information. But before we introduce the topic, let's say hi to your classmates because they are coming. Ah, and also, also, now you can go, go to the platform. Do you remember that some of you uh, we're making this observation. If you go to homework or to the platform 1.1, la tarea 1.1, you were telling me that for this one, let me show you. This one, number four, number three and number four, they were together as a single question. And number four, it didn't have the three options, you know? But now, as you may see, it's already there. People from text four already fixed this one, so you can go to unit number one, homework 1.1, and number four, it's already there. I guess, I don't remember the other one, but somebody was telling me about, I guess it was this one, la 1.9. In the case of this one, number four, it didn't accept the answer, you know? It didn't accept the answer. So please go and try with number four and please let me know if it is working. But don't worry, remember that we have, um, we still have some like four more classes so we can finish with unit number one. So don't worry, this is a topic that we're going to be covering tomorrow, the one front 1.9. Okay, so this is just an observation.
because of the ones who were asking me uh, to help them with that uh, specific exercise. Okay, so I already have nine students, but I cannot see you guys. Where are you? Let me see. Let me see. Let me have your cameras on today. There Hi. we go. Hi, yes, Jasmine. She was the only one with the camera on. The Urdes is already there. Francisco, Andres. Hi, how is it going, guys? William is there. Hi, guys. I'm still missing Doris. Let me check. Who was it? Quien me reportó que iba a tener camera off? Let me check on this. Veamos. Creo que era David. Chequemos quién era. Wait, no, it was a girl. Madeline. Aquí estamos. Madeline. Siempre, chicos, eh, reportemos en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿ok? Por si se me olvida y no estarles insistiendo. Your camera on, camera on, ¿ok? Ahí está David también. Muy bien. There we go. So, it's time to start. Oh, okay, Jocelyn. Thank you so much for letting me know. Jocelyn is saying, mi cámara no está funcionando. Muy bien, para que quede ahí la evidencia, ¿ok? Cámara de Jocelyn is not working today. Gracias, Jocelyn. Vamos, chicos. Eh, vuelvo a repetir. Ya está, mi Jocelyn. Uh, I just wanted to start. Thank you. Oh, okay. You're welcome. I was mentioning, you know, at the beginning of the class, that I do apologize because yesterday I wasn't able to be here to teach on time, you know, because of the heavy rain that we were having just on that moment at 7.30, from 7.30 to 8, you know, I had this inconvenience, you know, with the internet connection. I was not on time, you know, and also, you know, uh, the place in which I live, uh, it was like a situation and I had to move from my house to a different one, you know? So I wasn't able, so I do apologize, but I'm ready here. And for the ones who were on time here, I do apologize. And thank you so much for being here today, okay? And now it's time to start with the class. Let me show you. In the first class, we were talking about gerunds and we were having a practice about gerunds, okay? so. Today, we are going to finish with that activity. So for that, I need you to go to your student's book because we're gonna be working on that. But first, let me show you the topic for today. Here we go. Okay, class number two. Let me see what is the topic for today. Okay, I'm ready to project. Look, class number one, it was all about gerunds. Class number two, what is the topic for this class? The benefits cultural diversity brings to companies we are going to be discussing you know about cultural diversity in the workplace you know i'm gonna listen to your ideas and we are going to be also uh, giving some definitions about some uh, concepts that we need to manage you know so this is class number two this is advanced number two as well so let's move on do you have your student's book ready? Yes or no? Yes. You do, very good job. Yeah. There we go. So as of right now, what do we need to do? We are going to have the final grammar practice based on the topic that we were covering on Monday. So I want you to go to your course book or to your student's book on page number 11. So with the help of your classmates, we are going to be working uh, in pairs. You are going to complete the exercises that we have there. 
this is as a final practice about this topic. Let me show you, we have the same instructions just right here. Look, page number 11. So let's make a quick review. Followed, birds followed by germs. Who wants to read the instructions? Who can help me out to read the instructions? These ones, the ones that we're having here. Uh, I will. Okay, go ahead. Let me make uh, it bigger, go. Okay. Some verbs take another verb as a complement. Okay. There is a group of verbs that only takes gerunds. Ver plus ing as complements. Okay, continue. Some of the most common verbs followed by gerunds include the following. Okay. Appreciate, avoid, consider, discuss, enjoy, keep, mind, mention. Quit and suggest. There we go. How many examples do we have here? Let me see. Three, four, five, six different examples. So I need six different volunteers to help me out reading the examples using these verbs. Okay. We have from A, letter A up to letter F. Okay. So. Let's start with the first one that I have here. Jasmine, go ahead and read the first one. Letter A. I appreciate having the company work towards a multicultural corporate environment. Wow, it's a quite interesting example. I appreciate having the company work towards a multicultural corporate environment. Very good job. Andres, letter B is for you. Okay. Manager Park avoid making comments that may sound respectful. Okay, Manager Park, this is his last name or her last name, right? Avoid making comments that may sound respectful. Wow, interesting. Genesis, letter C is for you. Okay, the company considered hiring experts to enhance the relationship between employees. Wow, quite interesting as well. Thank you, Genesis. Francisco, letter E, please. And then William with letter E. Okay, we enjoy working with people from the different cultural backgrounds. Okay, we enjoy working with people from different cultural backgrounds, wow. Do you? Do you enjoy working with people from different cultural backgrounds? Or do, you don't? Yes, why not? Yeah, right? Why yeah, not? It's fun. It's, it's, normal. it's fun, right? In my case, it is. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, so letter E. Go ahead, please, William. People at the office keep talking about the new employee from Japan. They are trying to learn his language. Oh, look, it's interesting people at the office keep talking about the new employee from Japan. So they're trying to learn his language. Wow, interesting. Lourdes, can you finish with the last example, please? It's the letter A. F. F. Mm -hmm. F. A uh, true leader doesn't mind training people on cultural acceptance. Oh, okay, interesting. So we are going to be covering this example, you know, later on in this class, because these are, these are great examples uh, for the topic that we are going to have today. So we are going to work in pairs. And see if you see, what are the instructions that we have? We need to, who wants to read the instruction? I can read them. Okay, go, please. Yeah. go ahead. Okay. Order the words to make sentences. Use the correct form of the underlined verb. Compare your choices with a partner. Okay, so if you see, thank you so much. We have the verb make, create, work, 
in number four, insist. Participate and last one, prepare. So what are we going to do? Make sense. How many? Six different sentences. So let me ask you again. Do you have the student's book ready or do you want me to send this picture so you can take a look at the exercise? Do you have the material ready? Yeah. Yes. I do? I yes. So I'm going to allow you to share your screen. Porfa, pueden compartir pantalla. Don't forget to use that tool because it's very useful. So here we go. I'm going to give you from four to five minutes, I guess. That is enough time. And then we're coming back so we can check the exercises. Here we go, class. It's time to work. Okay, go with your class. Okay, I'm still missing. There we go. Oh, okay, David. So, in that case, you can work by yourself, please, okay? Don't worry, you can stay here. Okay, there we go. Thank you. How about Dori? <laughs> Your microphone. Ah, I'm sorry. Yeah, no it's just that I, I was the only one in the room. So. Really? Yeah, it was just me, so I came back because, yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming back. Friends. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to send you to room number one. Let me see. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, right. You were the only one there. Okay, go ahead, please. Yeah. Room number one. Thank you. You're welcome. Same as Lourdes. Okay, I'm going to send the picture right now. Don't worry. Yeah. 
five, eight. Yeah. Period. Next. Okay. Uh, the bus, the subject the bus. The bus kept existing. We had communication issues with the new employees. With the new employees. Mm -hmm. The bus. Insist. Kept. Insisting. Kept okay. insisting, yes. That is in past. Yep. Insisting. Uh, we have communication issues. We had communication issues with new employees. Mm -hmm. Yep. I feel I, I I feel real right. For example, insisting without that. Ah, uh, yeah. We used to do that. Uh, she didn't participate. No. Hello, oh, yes. No, no, no. She didn't mind participating. Mm -hmm. Along things from abroad. Oh, yeah. They. Yes, they suggest, suggest getting a thing that ensures. Suggest. Good for this mission. No, no, puede ver. Yes. It's you. Um, Sorry, and I will share. Yeah. Yes. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. They suggest creating. Creating a team. Be sure. Diversity. All diversity issues. Teacher, sorry, I have a question. In this sentence, I guess that is, they suggest create a team that ensure all diversity issues in handling in, a, in the proper manner. Okay. It makes sense, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, but in this case, mm -hmm. uh, yes, but in this case, and um, this sentence mentioned I handling in a proper manner. In the appropriate manner. But that's okay, because in this case, um, all diversity issues, yes, in this case, diversity issues, this is going mm -hmm. to be taken like a subject, you know, and then we have the verb to be and the main verb in the complement, right? So, yeah, it makes sense. Okay, so that's okay, yeah. Don't worry, that's okay. Okay, number three is enjoy working. No, sorry. No. Employees and your employees. Mm. Uh, yes, employees and your working. Enjoy, enjoy working, working, mm -hmm. uh -huh. working, working with an extensive range 
of people. Yes, who have cultural difference. Okay. Who have cultural cultural difference? Okay. The bus. It was. It, mm -hmm. Did you finish? No. No, teacher. We have, we have a doubt in number four. Okay. It says it the bus. Recorder? A bus, okay. Yeah, it says the bus kept insisting we had communication issues with the new employee. Yes, that's, a, that's all right. The bus kept insisting that we had communication issues with the new employees. Yes. That is the correct order. That's right. Okay. Number five. Okay, so we We start with number five, which she didn't mind. Participating. She didn't mind participating, uh huh. Um, Along teams from abroad. What? You're saying yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. She didn't mind. And after mind, we have participate, but as a gerund. She didn't mind mm -hmm. participating. Mm -hmm. So that would be a long team how would it be? She no. didn't mind participating along teams from oh, abroad. Teams yes. From That's abroad. all right. Great job. But that's pretty much it. Did you finish, guys? Yes, we're done. You did. Okay, because yes. your classmates, they haven't. So, oh. yes, you know, you're the last group yep. that I'm visiting right now, but uh, let's go back to the main yep. room so we can check the examples. Here we go. Oh, we can go back now? Yeah, let's go back now. Okay. okay. See you there. Okay, 
how was this exercise? Was this easy, difficult? How did you feel it? Quite easy, right? Okay, let's uh, wait for the... I think it was it wasn't that hard. It yeah, was right? like to make it and make it make sense. I just think that at first it was kind of hard to, to just the deduce which was the starting line and then go from there. Yeah, right. Yeah, it is quite easy, you know, to first identify like the subject and then we can have like the the verb, then we have the gerund. But at the end, you know. The way in which we were going, we were going to uh, to make the sentence, it was quite difficult for some of your classmates. So let's wait for them, and I'm going to ask. Well, this is the one that I have. This is the teacher's book. You're not supposed to check on that one. I want to number one. He considers. Is this the beginning of? the sentence or not or how do you or what is the answer that you got from this one what is the correct order from this sentence number one he considers yes making his presentation about communication in the world means okay he considers making, making his presentation mm -hmm. uh -huh, making his presentation about Communication, the workplace, and the in, in diversity. How do you pronounce that word, teacher? Diversity, this one. Mm, ah, okay. What is your opinion, class? Do you have the same? Do you have no. a different arrangement? I have the same. Pero diversity and, ¿será que terminamos la oración? Do we finish this oh, idea with diversity no. and, or the I other have, way around? Oh. Well, I have, okay, okay, try, you can try. Go ahead, please, Jasmine. Try with number one. Uh, I have, he considers making his presentation about communication, about diversity and communication in the workplace. There we go. Mm -hmm. I really like it in that way. You know, it sounds better. Very good job. Number two, let me ask David. Tell me about number two. How do we start with this? Sentence. What is the beginning of this sentence? Number two, David Samuel. Oh, I guess it's not there, right? It's in a meeting. Okay, yeah, I, guess, no, I, I guess I will try. Okay, I will don't try. Worry. I forgot about this and go, please. <laughs> don't worry. Day, day, three is, <laughs> day three is creating a team that ensures all diversity issues were managed. So all diversity usual are handled in the appropriate manner okay class do you have the same order or the, the same like sentence yeah you do yes okay who, who got a different yeah. one because which one number two yes number two this i one. i have a different okay go ahead please they suggest creating a team that ensures all diversity issues. How about this one? Ah, I forgot to add it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's the last part. That's the last part. Handled in the proper manner. Okay, never mind, teacher. Okay, number two, days, it says, yes. Such as creating a team that ensures all diversity issues are handled in the appropriate manner. That's the one that we have. Okay. Yeah, we were right, William. Yeah, she was <laughs> right. How about number three? Who wants to try with this one? Number three. Hey. Go, please. Okay. <laughs> Employees enjoy working with an extensive range of people who have cultural differences. What is your opinion, class? Do you agree with this one? Do you have a different so, idea? What is your opinion? I have the same. Okay, great. How about the rest of the class? 
I'm good. That was good, right? Oh, yes. I got the same as well. Employees enjoy working with an extensive range of people who have cultural differences. There we go. Number four. Give it a try, please. Number four. This is the time for you to practice. Let me see. Freddy's. I know you want to participate. It's not here. <laughs> <laughs> not really, teacher. <laughs> I'm having dinner, teacher. Okay. No. <laughs> the boss kept insisting her communication issues with the new employees. Okay. It sounds great, you know. Do you have the same? Do you have a different idea for the boss? Sure. Cap, yes, Sorry. Uh, I have the same answer, but I have a problem with the platform okay. because I have the same answer to the platform, but it's wrong. Really? Um, and I have the same problem with the sentence number two. Number two. Up a jar. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I got confused. So are you talking about the platform or the exercise, this exercise that we're working on right now? This exercise is the same. In the same yeah, I know, I know it's the same, I know. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. but, but you know, some of your the same you answer. have the same answer. That is wrong. Okay, let's do, let's do something, Vamos algo. let's finish with this exercise and then we go to the platform so we can check the answers, you know? Because okay. I can show you the answers, you know, the final. The final okay, answer. Okay. Don't worry. Thank you. Great observation. Vamos a ver. Number five. Number five. Fernando, thank you. <laughs> Go, please. Okay. That, number five. Yeah. Uh, she didn't mind participating. Uh, from abroad, a long teams. Oh, no, a long team from abroad. Oh, okay, so can, can you repeat that again? Okay, uh, she didn't mind participating a long team from abroad. Okay, that's great. Lourdes, last one, please. number six. It's the manager discuss preparing new activities to strengthen teamwork. Okay, so yeah, that's right. What, what is your opinion about this one? Number six. It's correct. It's correct, right? So there we go. Let's go to the platform. Vamos a ver. Platform, what exercise is this one? I guess it's the first one, right? 1.7. Point seven. Point seven. So, you know, at the beginning, I was mentioning that I don't really remember who was it, but you were telling me about this exercise, 1.1. 1. 1. That's number three and number four. They were, okay, I guess I'm. Number three and number four, they were together as a single statement, right? And number four, we didn't have like three different options, you know? But in this case, it's already, it's already there if you see. Number four is already there. So you can go ahead and correct this one in the case that you were working on this one already. So 1.7, vamos, 1.5, this is the one that we were working on. What number did you say? I'm sorry. Number four. Number two and number four. Okay. So there we go. Can you check on this one? Number four. With the new employees. I guess we got the same. Yeah, right? So you can check, you know, you can compare if you want. 
I'm gonna give you a couple of times so you can check, go to the platform and see if this is correct or if we have a mistake in the platform as well. Just take your time, okay? So please, in the case that, now imagine you're working in these exercises and the same as you're mentioning right now, you know, teacher, I guess this is not correct. I guess the platform, it has a little mistake, you know, just let me know, please. Le digo por qué, you know, eh, este módulo, advanced number two, it has been, a while, you know, that we didn't have this, this course, you know, casi nadie llega al advance number two, se nos van quedando, you know, so por eso les digo, el avanzado número dos, hemos tenido un, un ratito de que no veíamos este curso en the platform, así que cualquier detalle, please, just let me know, believe me, I'm going to ask for help, people from tech support, they fix it, very fast, you know, quickly. So please, uh, cuando encuentre algún detalle sure. en la plataforma, you can uh, let me know. Ya chequearon? Did you check? Yes, teacher, okay. but I have the same problem. In which one? Same exercise. The same sentence. I same have sentence. the same the same answer, but it's it's wrong. Se las está tomando como wrong. Okay. Yo la di. Yes. You have to add that. That. The boss kept insisting that we have. And that's falta. You can compare. You can take the answer from here. That's why I'm projecting this one. Go comparing and take this oh. one of the correct one. Mm -hmm. no. The doors get insisting mm -hmm. that pero no está en oración, but hey, that's mm -hmm. right. Muy bien. Ahorita la reporto. ¿sabes? Thank you so much. Muchas bien, gracias. Yes, right. That no está acá, right? Está en las opciones. Mm -hmm. Ok. I'm gonna... Vamos a reportar eso ahorita. Don't worry. La dos sí tengo exacto. Como está ahí, pero no sé por qué. Me sale el domingo. Did you include the period at the end? Yes. Punctuation. Yes, you did. Yes. I don't know what. I don't know. What's the problem? I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. So yes, I'm going to let these people know about this. Bien, clase, pero aquí está. Don't worry. Here we have the correct one. Vamos. Let's continue. Okay. It's time to continue. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. You know, as you may see, um, you may say, you know, teacher, but how do I know? When am I going to be using a gerund or an infinitive? Because, you know, we have a lot of verbs, you know, in this case, that are followed by a gerund. But how can I know, teacher? My recommendation is, it is not about formulas or shortcuts, so you can learn to distinguish what verb should be followed by gerunds or infinitive, you know? So, um, I guess a tip is uh, so you can start memorizing the verbs that we have in this lesson, and then you continue adding a second group, a third group, and so on, you know? Because we have a big list of verbs that are followed by a gerund. So this is just practice. Take 
10 verbs and you practice making sentences and then you take another group like 10 more and you can continue practicing okay because in that way it's going to be easier in my case is easier so this is how we are going to be uh, learning and how to use this type of verbs. okay so on monday you know we were practicing and we were having a discussion Right now, if you see, we are going to continue working um, in groups in groups of three. I prefer, you know, prefer groups of three because there are times in which one of your group is not able to join the, 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 the room. So you're going to be there working by yourself and that is not the idea. Please, this is a speaking time, okay? If you're going to be taking now, that's all right. So. I motivate you to have your camera on, you know, so your classmates can see you, so you can interact with your classmates as well, okay? Here we go. Let me show you. Page number nine, we are going to find out about the key terms that we have there related to the top from unit number one, cultural diversity in the workplace show you what we are going to be working on right now. Okay, just give me a moment. Here we go. Page number nine, let's go back. This is the one, page number nine. So if you see, we have these key terms. How many do we have? Four. Cultural. Who wants to help me? Jessica, please go ahead and help me out. What are the definitions that we need to find? Janari, okay. Janari, I'm sorry. Help me out reading. Cultural stereotype. Okay. Cultural stereotype. Continue. Inclusion. The third one? Misconceptions. And? Uh, uh, transit. Et Ethnicity. 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 Okay. So four different comps. If I ask you, hey, Janari, what is ethnicity for you? Can you give me a definition about this? No, is yet. It, no, right? I cannot, teacher. So this is the time. Go online, go to Google, try to find the definitions about this four dev, uh, concept because we are going to be discussing about this today. I'm going to give you five minutes. I guess, I guess it's enough for now. Cultural stereotypes, caution, misconceptions, and ethnicity. Go, please. Vamos. Time to go online. It's working group. And I'm going to be asking you about the definitions. First step, this is the one, okay? Go and look for the definitions only, okay? Only the definitions, and then we come back. Here we go. Okay. Four or five minutes, so you can... Come back with the definitions. Go, please. Yeah, that's all right, David. Don't worry. You're welcome. Okay, look for the definitions. Ah. 
Hi. Uh, what is that? Uh, inclusion. Inclusion. Mm. Inclusion. There is one missing. Okay. Okay. It's true. <laughs> hey, thank you, Andres. Uh -huh. And number two, you have the correct answer or? Yes, I have the correct. Only have problem with the number four. Um, okay. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Cultural diversity work. So. Okay, I will I will look for inclusion. Okay. I already I have cultural stereotypes. And who's going to look for misconception? And ethnicity. So, I don't know. The first and the second, I remember that, but the, the three, I don't remember. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Teacher, I do remember how to pronounce cultura, culture. Uh -huh, English, uh -huh. yes. Culture is okay. Thank you, teacher. Culture, culture. 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 Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. And the, the, the three is William? Misconceptions. Can you write this? Oh, okay. 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 Misconceptions. I do not. Do you find in, in Google? No, not yet. In the web? Okay. I sent some of the words to the chat. Some of the meanings. Okay, the second. The first and the second one. The three. Um, what's up? No, no, the Google ah. the song. That's from the university. Uh, no, it was like a particular course. I went every Saturday. Mm -hmm. Did you finish, guys? We have some 
I do have all the answers. Let me see. Remember that we are just looking for the definitions, okay? Yeah. You can go to Google and look for the definitions so you can have like uh, an idea about what this concept is about, okay? So if you're mm -hmm. ready, let's go back to the main room so we can listen to your classmates as well. Let's go back. You have your marking of of each. Teacher, you micro. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna be checking the attendance list right now. So please say here or present. Thank you so much. Andres Giovanni Valdivia Soportillo. Present. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Okay. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. She's there. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I think he's here. Okay. Génesis del Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I said present, but my microphone was off. I'm sorry. Okay, the same as the teacher, you know. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Jamilet Molina González. Madeline, let me see, she's there. Selma Clotilde Peña Martinez. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jessica Janari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Jocelyn. But she was here, right? So I don't know. Okay, class, concepts, definitions about these four different terms, cultural stereotypes. What comes to your mind when I say cultural stereotypes? Now you can give me a definition. Tell me. Cultural stereotypes, this is the first one. Let me see. Go ahead, please, Jasmine. 
So a uh, cultural stereotype, it's like a preconceived idea of how a person from a specific place mm -hmm. or a specific region or a specific religion behaves, acts, or dresses in a particular context. For example, that uh, all Italians do this. Yeah, right. All Salvadorians. Uh, Italians do the, <laughs> and, and all Salvadorians have very pouty mouths and we curse like a sailor. Okay. Why? Or that all Mexicans love a spicy food. Yeah, right. So, stereotypes. Very good. In question. Second one. Erwin. Okay. 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 And then you, Genesis. Don't worry. Erwin. Okay. <laughs> Me teacher. Yes, you. The second. Uh -huh. The the word please. Here you have it. Ah, inclusion. Okay. Yeah. Inclusion. We have different person, mm -hmm. and the different person is from other culture, and he will to try to accept the other 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 uh, culture yeah inclusion there we go right genesis misconception okay. okay so uh misconception is when many people are absolutely convinced of the truth of some things about society that are not entirely true uh i think it happens especially when well, what we think about other cultures that we don't really know or mm -hmm. when we are convinced about certain things that um, actually are not true. Okay, okay. I really like that definition and idea. Kenya, last one, please. Ethnicity. Hello, okay, let me see. Uh, it's an idea that is grown because it has been based on a failure to understand a situation. Okay. So now you have an idea. Let me show you what I got from the internet as well, you know? So we can have like a similar idea. Cultural stereotyping is when someone has an opinion on another person based on who they are, where they are from, or the language they speak without getting to know the individual, okay? So yes. Can you give me some other examples about stereotyping people? For example, as Jasmine, she was mentioning Salvadorians or all Salvadorians are always late. What do you think about that one? Okay. Stereotyping, stereotyping. So what comes to your mind? For example, you know, I don't know why, but I have a lot of of, of my family, members of my family, they live in the States, you know, they live in United States and they say that yes, um, they need, of, uh, they have to face, you know, these cultural stereotypes, you know, uh, in the places they go or whenever they go to a meeting, you know, with people uh, who live there, you know, or from different countries. And for example, what comes to your mind if I say black people, black people? What are the cultural stereotypes that come to your mind when I say black people? What comes to your mind? Black people. Black people. Yes. What comes to your mind? Racist. Okay. What else? Yes, danger. Like menos appreciating people. 
Ok. Remember, estamos hablando de stereotypes, not that they are in this way, no. Stereotyping people, you know? So if I say black people in the States, you know, people may say, oh, they are drug dealers, they are gang members, they are abusive. I don't know why people think in that way, you know? So what comes to your mind if I they say... Are. They are, you think? Yeah, most of the black people in the United States, they like to be, uh, mm -hmm. uh, actually, what can, how can I say? They yeah. like that the, the government gives them food stamp in order to live. They don't like to work. Okay. They, love, they love stealing, they love selling drugs. They're gang members. Uh -huh. So is that an stereotype or not? What do you think, Beth? This is a discussion time. Give me your ideas. It's time to practice. Probably, right? Yes. I mean, both black people and white people, both <laughs> are criminals, both make okay. bad okay. things. Uh, and his, throughout history, the ones who have committed worse crimes are not black people, are the white people, right? So I think... In a way, in a way, people have been forced to be okay. bad in order to survive. But that's okay. me. That's right. I agree. Andres, what comes to your mind if I say Japanese people, Chinese people, Asian people? What are the stereotypes? They are smart. Oh, okay. they are smart. What else? They have the eyes in the same way. <laughs> okay, and that is another one, you know? They all look the same, you know? Chinese, Japanese, they are all the same. Have you ever heard that one before? Yeah, right? Yeah. Stereotype. Um, what if I say, William, what comes to your mind if I say American people? American people, white people. We're all American. Okay, but the stereotype, what comes to your mind? White people, Americans. Gringo. Gringo. Yeah, gringo. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Um, maybe the... They are arrogant. Arrogant, okay. What else? They are, um, I don't know if I'm gonna say right or wrong the word, um, racist. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, maybe, racist. Yeah. Racist? They are rich, you know? Not all of them. They got money, they say. Yeah. Not all of them. The races they are because if you, they see um, <laughs> a lot of people they will call them beaner, mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of people will call them beaner or way back. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So, what comes to your mind if I say Colombia or Colombian people? Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> Stereotypes. Stereotypes. <laughs> Dealer huh? boys. <laughs> Dealers, okay. So you see, this is, um, these are great examples about cultural stereotypes, you see? So let's continue. Vamos a hablar de algo más bonito. Inclusion. Let me show you the definition that I got from the internet. Is the policy or practice of making sure that everyone in society has access to resources and opportunities. This is in question, okay? At your workplace, have you ever seen or can you mention a specific examples of inclusion? Inclusion. Examples, please. 
think about a great example of inclusion at your workplace. I'm going to start, you know, as I have been working as a teacher, you know, for many years. I remember back in 2010, I guess, 2012, I don't remember. I was working in a private school as a teacher and I had a blind student, you know. Tenía una alumna ciega. I had a blind student. It was a challenge, you know, to treat this girl the same as the rest of the classmates, you know, of the students, because she was the only one in the whole school who was blind, you know, a blind student. But I really enjoyed having her as my student because, you know, she was a very smart girl, you know? People may say, you know, she's blind, she's not going to learn a second language. But you know what? She did, she did. And I had to teach, you know, the same class, the same time, the same topic for this student and for the rest of the class. And she got very good grades, you know, in the evaluation. So this is inclusion. I really love this, working with this girl, you know? So can you give me some other examples about inclusion? In, in our school teacher? Yes. In our school, we have employees. Okay. Employees that are deaf. Oh. Okay. And, and they can uh, use the sign language. Wow. And they are teaching all, all of the students and teachers to the sign scene, the science language mm -hmm. to in the future we can attend we can receive deaf students wow. we are preparing but the, the first step is deaf employees and then the next the next step is deaf students wow imagine i really like that how about at your workplace the last example what can you tell me in su lugar de trabajo. ¿Han visto eso? Inclusion? Yes? No? Because it is mandatory, I guess, to have few people, you know, working uh, with special abilities, working in your workplace. No sé si todas las empresas lo cumplirán. What is your opinion about that one? Yanari, yeah. Uh, yeah, a mínimo uh, uh, per, per 20. Yeah, right. Uh, 20 person, 20 people. Uh, they, they, uh -huh, they have the, the patronal, the, the, the company need to have one person. At least one, imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of those one. 20, yeah, 20 people. Mm -hmm. 20 people. Before it was 25, per 25, but uh, in the new reforms, uh, they have to do. To ha they have to one person per per twenty. Wow! Imagine. Mm -hmm. So, what is your opinion about El Salvador? Será que logramos cumplir esa meta? Out of twenty, no. at least to have one employee with no. special abilities. No. no. Not right. For example, in no. a call, in a call center, in a call center. Uh -huh. uh, not possible. It's not possible. No. No. No, right? It's not. In the teaching field, as David he was mentioning, yes, it is possible. So, yeah, right. Hopefully, we're gonna be able to to include, you know, people with special abilities in the near future. So misconceptions. It's false or inaccurate perception you know misconception as we were mentioning before the examples that we were giving about cultural stereotypes this can be similar to misconceptions you know and the last one ethnicity it has been defined as the social group a person belongs to 
and either identifies with or identified with by others as a result of a mixed cultural and other factors, including language, diet, religion, ancestry, and physical features traditionally associated with race. Imagine. So it's quite interesting whenever we need to talk about this type of topic or we need to, you know, include this type of topic in a conversation. Yes, it is quite interesting. So questions about this vocabulary. Do you have a clear idea about this concept? Yes? Yes. Yeah, right, now you do, now you do. So misconception, teacher, misconception is something about like, like produce. Mm -hmm. is, is the same produce that misconception? Prejuicio. Yeah, yes. I guess it's a synonym, right? So can you give me how do you how do you say how do you say pre prejuicio? Prejudice. Mm -hmm. So, como la película, all right? So can you give me some examples? So we can have it clear. Um, I think it's like, if we think of Americans as overweight and because they eat too much garbage mm -hmm. food or, or fast foods. Mm -hmm. I think it could be a, a misconception. It can be true, but <laughs> I it think it's a misconception to think that everyone, everyone is, um, every American is like that. Exactly. So what comes to your mind, you know, uh, we have been through a pandemic, right? A COVID. So now people, they think about bacteria, that all bacteria are bad. ¿Qué piensan ustedes? Todas las bacterias son malas. Oh, bacterias. No, no, no. We don't need them. You know, our bodies, they don't really need them. ¿Qué piensan? Is it for everyday life? For everyday life. You yeah. have them in bread, in yogurt, and in beer. Okay. <laughs> and you eat take them almost every day. Okay. So you see, we need them as well. Our body needs them. Another misconception, you know, your dad, tu papá, que le decía? <laughs> Wait, let me make a comparison, a misconception. What? Let me think about this one. Um, your dad, he got married at the age of, or when he was 30. So you were going to get married at that age as well. Misconception. Pensar que algo va a ser igual también, okay? So, algo que no va a cambiar, but why not, you know? This can be different, you know, from one person to another one. That is a misconception. So is it clear now? Or maybe at your workplace. For example, if you have a co-worker, you know, a secretary and she was, you know, um, this type of girl who was always mad, you know, who was mistreating people and she didn't like to help, you know, people. So she got fired. And then another one, another secretary comes and takes, uh, you know, uh, now uh, her position, you know? So what is the misconception? That she's going to be the same as the previous girl, but no. Or another one, so usted dice, I go to El Seguro. If I go El Seguro, a pasar, um, Consulta, ¿cuál es el misconception about nurses and doctors from the East? What is a misconception? They're rude. That they are hungry every, every day. <laughs> but, but there is, a, I wouldn't consider that a misconception. That is it's uh, also the, the fun, that is true. That, that no, is true, teacher. It's not a misconception. 
Okay, a great example. They love their sensibility. Okay, probably, right? <laughs> so, yeah, it's a, it's a misconception about people. But not, remember, we are not all, you know, the same. Vamos a ver. Let's continue. Vamos, chicos. Now that you got the idea about these definitions, what are we going to do? If you see, we are going to go back to the exercise or to the examples that we were having at the beginning of the class. If you see, here we have great examples about these definitions. Just give me one second. Okay. Task number nine, here we go. Okay. Look. These are the ones who were covering Okay, look, how about this one? I appreciate having the company. Okay, no, it was not this one. We were going to take this one. Okay, letter F. Take a look at this one, letter F. Fernando, please, can you read letter F? Uh... What, what, which? From this exercise, this one, letter F. D. Okay. Uh, a true leader doesn't deny training people on cultural acceptance. Okay, you, you see, this is a great example about what we have been talking about. How about this one? What is your opinion about this one? Do you agree on this one, letter D? We enjoy working with people from different cultural background yes uh, that's right even we we learn we learn with 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 them for example we and they you. they learn for from us okay because we, we have different thinking and we can share our experiences and... okay there we go so great examples you see so we are going to work against a group and i need you to give me this type of comments, you know? But this time we are going to have only four groups, cuatro grupos, chicos, four different groups. The first one is going to give me clear examples about cultural stereotypes in the workplace, man, in the workplace. The place where you go. I need you to give me one or two examples on how this is practiced in your workplace. Group one, group number two, you're going to have this topic. Group number three, this one, and group number four about this one. This is going to be very helpful, you know? You can take questions from exercise number one as a reference. Go and practice with your classmates. Remember, I'm going to give you just one topic. Solo van a discutir de uno, okay? Not about the rest of the concepts that we were discussing. Go and it depends on the group you are working with. You're going to be discussing about this type of Definition and example. Group number one, two, three, and four. Let me ask you, is it clear what we are going to do right now? Yes, yes. or no? Okay, yeah. it is. So, vamos, cuatro grupos. Group number one, two, three, and four. Here we go. So this is going to be like the final activity. After that, we're going to be making this presentation, okay? We are going to be presenting this information. So here we go. Let me make it again. Vamos a ver, group number four. Okay, here we go. I'm going to give you four minutes so you can complete this activity. 
Go, please. Okay. So if we say someone from Africa, someone comes from the continent of Africa, they're all going to be very, very dark skin, which is not true because um, people from Egypt and things like that uh, or areas nearby are not dark skinned are more light, like a light tan. Or some people don't understand that India is in Asia and as such are Asians. So it's a stereotype. Uh, also that all people from Asia look like Chinese people, which is not true. Uh, or that all um, Japanese people or Chinese people don't know how to drive because of how their the shape of their eyes, they're bad drivers. I, so, think, I think they um, most of the people think that they're bad drivers because in their country um, actually they they drive the uh, it's like inverted like in the opposite. Yeah, they, they drive in the opposite lane. We drive in the right side. They drive in the left side. So that's why I think they have a, a lot of accident. In, yeah, in it could be could be true. Um, about other stereotypes, like, um, for example, when I, when I think about a Scandinavian person, I imagine someone very, very tall, very, very blonde and blue eyes. And that's not necessarily true. Uh, I met Scandinavian people. I've had tenants start from Scandinavia area and they're not like that. And yes, they're a little bit white, just like yours truly, because I'm white as paper. But they're not that tall. And they're not always blonde and not always blue-eyed. And sometimes you may think that they yeah, don't have a good sense of humor. And they actually, they do. And they like to get drunk a lot. They're actually pretty fun. Uh, have you guys had an experience with like a preconceived idea of someone like, hey, my friend from this place is coming and you have an idea of how they're going to behave just from that alone? What do you think? Yeah, I, I think that depends on the, the personality of the each person because uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, talking about the uh, the garbage, for example, the pe people in Costa Rica is very, very. Uh, I don't know how do you say cuidadosa. They're very clean, unlike us. Yeah, We're very dirty people. Yeah, they yeah. are very clean because all yeah. garbage. Uh, they put the. In, in the different uh, in the different oh, trash can uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah because yeah. they they mm, recycle they separate, uh -huh, mm -hmm. recycle. yeah they they recycle their, their trash uh -huh. we don't we we're years behind that
You finish. You finish? We we are researching and discussing at the same time. So <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Right. Don't worry. Go ahead. I'm going to be here. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Yes. Right. Uh, inclusion uh, could include, for example, <laughs> religion, race, gender, nationality. Not only uh, the that we said previously, we have to to cover all. all yeah. that. Mm -hmm. There is a part that. Mm. It could be also to include the LGBT, I don't know how more. <laughs> I, had, I, had, I have a, I have one. Uh, maybe, for example, I don't know, but in different companies uh, have to celebrate different holidays, depends of the, of the teammates. For example, if you have a, a, a co-worker from another country, for for including and the, we celebrate maybe a holiday for him and maybe for each employee from different cities or, or something like that that they they do the same for 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 him for or or for her They actually don't don't do anything, and they just uh, they don't work uh, at at all, and they just go and do nothing and, and earn money. Sometimes I I I've heard that that people think that working there is easy because they always get out of work early and. The and they seem to be always relaxed. And I'm sure that's not true, but I think that's what a lot of people I've heard think. Yes, and uh, the people has the concept that you always give a bad service mm -hmm. because yes, it's true in many offices. There is a bad service, but it's not all the people that work in that way. Okay, the city hall give a bad service to people. Um, what else? Hmm. <laughs> How many examples do you have? 
Um, I think so far we have like eight exam points. Really? Okay, I was asking just two or three, there were okay, but that's okay. Eight exam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because remember, we are going to present and to share this information uh, to the whole class, okay? So that's okay. Okay, so, so let's go we back. probably should, okay, we probably should choose just uh, the three more most important ones. Yeah, right? I guess, and... I guess. But if you want to mention, you know, the most important, and then as an extra example, you can mention the rest of them. Oh, that's right. I'm oh, going okay. to give you an extra minute so you can choose a three or four from them. Okay. Okay, okay sure. Thank you. So which ones do we choose? I like I the think, last one. Yeah. I like the, the one from the city city hall. Okay. Okay, so I wrote down that working at a city hall is an easy and relaxed job and that city halls give a, a bad service to people. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if, if you want, we can like uh, choose one from each of our jobs. Maybe we can choose the one that the lawyers Overcharge their clients and okay. like money. Yeah. 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 How many examples do you have? The cultural examples. Uh -huh. uh, do, you, do you remember the personal plastic personal? No, plastic person. Uh -huh. Okay. In oh, Salvador, yeah. you are you are young. In, uh -huh. uh, in, in I remember. In 1983, 1983, 1983, uh, there, uh, was, there were one song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I do. I remember, yeah. Era una ciudad plástica. Yes. Yeah. Many years ago, okay? Yeah, right, in the 80s or 90s, I guess. Uh, 80. 80s, imagine, yeah. I think that you uh, you didn't born. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was not born. <laughs> yeah, yes. no. Inclusion, for example, if uh, one Salvadoran one Salvadoran person will live at the United States. Oh, okay. Yeah. Misconcept misconception. Yes. Conception. Uh, for example. The personal in the personal the Salvadorian personal are workers. Mm -hmm. Isn't it true? I know. <laughs> and that's not well, I guess enough. Fifty percent is true, but not not all of the Salvadorian people. Yeah, the general, the general. In general. Uh, many many years ago, I think that twenty years ago <laughs> okay. in, the, in Spanish, okay. Yeah, go, go, don't worry. Salvadoreño is trabajador. Uh -huh. In that moment, I can't believe it. Okay? <laughs> and you see, for example, in the, the war, the Russian and Ukrainian, uh -huh. yeah, many uh, Ukrainian, Ukrainianos, Ukra mm -hmm. many people from Ukraine will leave other countries. Uh, the general willing. Okay, imagine. This is my example, teacher. Those are great examples. Yes. Okay, thank you. So, let's go back to the main room and let your classmates know about your examples, okay? 
This okay. is group number four. So we are going to have group number one, two, three, and you're going to be the last group, okay? But be ready to participate. Here we go. Okay, teacher. After I graduated, after I graduated, I I had a few jobs, but in my field, they only last like a year, maybe, because we work most of the time. We work by project, and mm -hmm. when the project ends, you well, you have to find another another job. But this time. Uh, this company is more stable because they uh, design and construct and build their own projects. So uh, it's been a nice experience to to learn and be uh, longer in the same on the same company. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, great. <laughs> so, very good. Okay. I really like that you're sharing experience. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just the three of us. <laughs> yeah, we were all paying attention, but don't worry. That's okay, and That's okay. Let's wait for your class. So okay. we still have like 15 minutes, you know? So we're going to have like from two to three minutes. So each group can present the information to the rest of the class, okay? So I'm going to start with the first group, group number one. Francisco, Fredis, Jasmine, and Jessica, right? Were you the ones working in that group? Francisco, yes. Fredis, Jasmine, and Jessica. Okay, just give me a second. That means, vamos a destacarla. Jasmine, quien más era? Francisco, right? Where are you, yes, Francisco? Say hi, Francisco. So what's the other one? Ready, and Janari. Ready, and Janari. Okay. So go, please. Present the information to your classmates. Oh, when we say presentation, like we have to make an actual presentation? It's not like an actual presentation. Just like to... Tell your classmates about the examples you were discussing, you know, so they can have like a, ah, an idea okay. about this one. Yes, this is not like okay. a, a presentation. Go ahead, please. Okay, so we discussed about um, the stereotypes of people that that came to our head just by hearing or, or knowing something that where they come from, for example. So I, in my case, um, we discussed like uh, that Asian people, for example, have the bad reputation that they are bad drivers because of the shape of their eyes. And also we discussed that maybe the possibility that why we think they're bad drivers is because they drive from the opposite side of the road than us, could be. Also that we discussed that the, when we say, oh, someone is from Europe, we assume that they're very like cultured and have good manners. And we have experience that they're not really well mannered. So go ahead, Francisco. I said my I said my piece. Okay, I tried. We, okay. My thing I meet we 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 talk about the, for example, the when I have opportunity to travel to Costa Rica, uh, we make the comparison between the Costa Rican Salvador and our uh, different culture because the person, the people in Costa Rica, uh, wow, uh, they they are a uh, organized person of people. Um, that they're more clean. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's oh, they're okay, more clean. Okay. That they, they recycle their trash and we, we're nowhere near that. Yeah. But we as a Salvadorian, um, we don't. Yeah. So, yeah, right. 
Yeah, and they practice the recycling of the old bottle. Oh yeah. Because they they, mm -hmm. they care the environment. Mm -hmm. They try to care the environment. Um, wow, the the Costa Ricans have a beer. Wow, quite interesting. Hey. Quite interesting examples, yes. How about Fredis? I don't know if you want to yeah. make a comment about this. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, I was talking to uh, what them. I was telling them that, that um, Salvadorians will, will have like a like a bad issue. Uh, most of the times we're late in on meetings or at your job or anywhere, but also. We could get we could get uh, adapted to a different culture, because let's say um, if you immigrate to the United States, in the United States, um, most of the people they have to be half an hour earlier to their jobs or anywhere in a meeting. So actually, if you go over there, um, you you actually change your culture and you get adapted to them. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, that's that's true, you know, and also in the way in which we drive, you know, as a drivers here in El Salvador, of course, we do not care about the way we're driving, you know, but on the other hand, if you go to the street, ah, there you respect, you know, there you follow the rules. So yeah. why is it? Because yeah. we need to adapt, you know, so yes. great example. Uh and, and I think maybe because um, maybe here our, our laws are not as well as as enforced as yeah, in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also the uh, tickets that you get if you do something <laughs> wrong while driving are way more expensive than here. Mm -hmm. And you usually don't have the money to pay them. Yeah, right. So a great example of when now that we're talking about tickets, you know, los microbuseros, you know, <laughs> imagine, and you said, and sometimes like many, many tickets, you know, and they don't really care about it. So imagine if they work in the state. So, Although the government is going to implement that, um, there's going to be a camera that is going to uh -huh. actually take a picture to the take to the unit that you're driving if uh -huh. you make a, a fall. <laughs> Imagine. So we really wish that that's gonna, you know, help a lot. So thank you so much. Janari, do you want to uh, make an extra comment or, I don't know, to help your classmates with? Just when I, I traveled to Indonesia, Okay. I saw I saw many cultural difference stereotypes because okay. um, when well well uh, they they have many culture about um, religion and because the Muslim peoples uh, pray in, in, in at night and between four hours and they they make a they do a oration mm -hmm. or pray. They, yeah they pray and, and sing many songs but I I, I was scared uh -huh. because <laughs> I'm freaking for 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 that time that kind of uh, okay. of, of culture Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, it's really different. Mm -hmm. Just, just that. Wow, well, that's interesting, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, there we go. Excellent example. Thank you, guys. Let's move on to the second one. Fernando, Kenya, in Madeni. What can you tell us about inclusion? Okay. Uh, well, uh, inclusion. Is a topic, a big topic. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, that topic reach a lot of uh, people in the different places, gender, 
religion. So we we were focus focusing on on the work at the workplace. So for example, we were discussing about the 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 workplace when you when they are inclusive for for people that maybe had difficult difficulties because they maybe have, are blind or or deaf or or maybe have to use a a tool or or a different way to transport it and they have uh, the in a workplace they they have to condition the the workplace for the yeah right so uh, in in another case uh, with a different context for example uh, when in a company you uh, are working different people for different uh, cities or countries mm -hmm. uh, 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 a way to be including is uh, uh, celebrate holidays uh, from a, a country and you all the employees have to participate instead that you are not from that country but you have to to be part on it for, because in, in another occasion uh, you they will celebrate a holiday from your country for example maybe oh that's interesting you know it is like the first time that I hear about those type of uh, companies, you know? I didn't know about that, but it's really nice to, to know that they do it. Excellent. Yes. How about Kenya mothering? Any other example? Yeah, I was thinking about when a company is looking for a new hire and you don't have experience, but you want to apply. But the company is like uh, always um, looking for someone who has a degree, who has a postgrade, who has 20 plus years of experience, and they don't give you the opportunity to try. Yeah, that's right. They don't give you the chance if you don't have that that much experience, you know. Yes. Great example, yeah. Kenya. How about Madeline? Would you like to make an extra comment? Okay, if not, we can move on to the third one. Andres, Genesis and Lourdes. Go ahead, please. Yeah, well, uh, first of all, I think in my workplace, uh, we have the concept for misconception. Okay. And I think in my workplace, I am an architect and I, I don't specifically work in construction, but there is a field for construction in my company. And I think that a misconception would be that workers in the construction field don't have proper manners and are always rude, especially towards women. So yeah. I think that would be a misconception. Yes, yes, right. Excellent example. Andres, Lourdes? We were talking yeah. about misconceptions in the city hall. For example, that the employees give a bad service and that uh, employees have an easy job. Oh yeah, in the city hall, oh, okay. That they have an easy job. What is your opinion, class? What do you think about this one? Do they have an easy job? I guess not, right? Because customer service is not an easy job, you know, at any place. Oh, not really. <laughs> Clients are very good. They think they have the reason just because they're paid for something, but no, we are yeah, humans. Right. Yeah, right. I'm paying yeah. for this service, so you need to treat me the way I'm wishing, or I really want to be treated now. It's not like that. So, Andres, yes, really nice example. About Lourdes. Uh, the example I, I gave to the discussion was that 
I work in a law firm, so people have the misconception that lawyers only, only think about money and they overcharge the client for anything. <laughs> uh, and I I met the man one, once that uh, he asked me where did I work. Um, he knew the firm, the, the, the name, uh -huh. and he said, I worked with them once and they charged me a lot of money. <laughs> Um, for almost nothing so so he has that thinking and a lot of people think that yeah right or they think they, that they can go and ask you you know about mm -hmm. any type of you know situation and just because you are a love church you're not going to church you know to ask for money no but that's your job so yeah that yeah. is a misconception <laughs> grow great example and the last one, the last group. Let me see David, Doris, and Erwin. Okay, so, teacher, uh, we are talking about ethnicity. Mm -hmm. Ethnicity is uh, associated with a, a group that share uh, identity of culture, religion, language, nationality, common ancestry. Yes. Yeah. Is a grouping the people by their roots or by their heritage. Something like uh, uh, Latin people, something like Asian people, something like, uh, and uh, there are a specific jobs, um, may, may principally in the United States and I think in the other countries, there are specific jobs for uh, Latin people, okay. uh, for uh, Afro-American people, when you arrive in, in, to an airport, you see a specific people cleaning the rooms, the, the bathroom, cleaning the floor, driving the machines that uh, transport the, the suitcase. And uh, there are uh, a specific identification. Uh, Irwin was talking in the, in the group about the, the Salvadorians that are uh, uh, hard workers, hard workers, Salvadorians, and something like that. There are uh, an, a specific identity about ethnicity of yeah. uh, the people. But, uh, something like somebody was talking before about the Asian people that they they drive by the wrong <laughs> the wrong road <laughs> the wrong way always or, or they drive uh, uh, without saying the the road okay. and something like that. That's yeah. that is ethnicity. Yeah, that is. An extra comment, Erwin, how about, you were mentioning a, a great example. In the field. Mm -hmm, yes. Okay, but the generally you have a other uh, continent, okay? You will have a different uh, the energy because the other country have a different culture. But for example, the, the most, if you want to think about the war of the Russia, or the Urs, Russia, uh, but many people live in Ukraine and now uh, they live in other countries. For, for, for example, Germany, mm -hmm. uh, Polonia, this is a different culture. Oh. It's different, like a, a different, like uh, Ukraine. Yes, yes. yes right. So, imagine. For example, for example the energy is so different. Pupusas, you uh, eat the pupusas with uh, normal with salsa cultivo uh -huh. in Spanish. <laughs> but, uh, San Miguel, they use it mayonnaise. Ketchup. <laughs> yes. yes, right. You know, I was impressed, you know, because uh, I remember that once I went to Perkin, you know, Morazan. So they were giving me ketchup and I was asking, no, where is, ¿dónde está la salsa? No, Mira, here you go, like, here you are. Y me daban la ketchup, you know. So yes, me, me gusta ese ejemplo, Erwin. Great example. Just on time, chicos, just on time. Thank you so much for your participation. I'm going to check the attendance list y mientras los menciono, pues pueden irse desconectando. Please let me see. Can who is 
David, can you stay for a while, you know, after the class? Just yes, teacher. Minutes. Okay. El resto, los menciono, pueden irse desconectando. Thank you so much for your participation. It, ha it has been a great class, you know. You had the time to express yourself and to practice your English, okay? Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Okay. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present teacher. Good night. Okay. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Génesis de Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Arvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Yasmín Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Frick. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Selma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. William Alexander Ramiro Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. Here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Okay. So she's not here. So thank you, Yanari. We're going to see each other tomorrow, okay? I'm just going to stay with David. I really hope you have a great night. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Hi, David. How are you? <laughs> Como estamos, David? I'm fine, teacher. You're fine. How about you? I'm good, you know? I'm good. Dos horas de clases, a veces se siente bastante. Feels yes, like yes, yes. Class, you know? But no, I'm really used to this one, you know? As, as I have been working as a teacher for a long time, this is like, you know, a, a very small class, a short class. So I really like this one. Bien, veamos, David. Habrá algo en lo que usted quiera reforzar? I don't know, pronunciation, listening, o algún comentario. ¿Qué nos enfocamos en el avanzado 2? ¿Qué le gustaría enfocarse? ¿Algo que quiera repasar en el avanzado 2? Mm, sí, sí, it's, it's important for me to the pronunciation. I, I have the many pronunciation. problems. Yes, I have problems. I, I, I was uh, 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 working with an, uh, an application that ah, okay. uh, Elsa speak. Elsa speak. Uh, Elsa, Can you Elsa see? Speak, yes. Elsa speak. I have yes, tried that a, one, Elsa. Yes. It's very good because uh, uh, me sure that your pronunciation uh, at the uh, exact uh, exact word. In, in because you need mark. to record, right? Record yes, yes, your yes. voice, and if you don't pronounce in the correct way, it doesn't recognize, you know, the pronunciation. Uh, yes, and, and, and tell you about how, what is the, your percentage. Yes, If you it have does. A, a 60, yeah. a 17, and, and something like that. So it forces and... you to get a 100%. Yes, I have tried that one, you know. So it's a great tool. But pronunciation, you know, what would be my recommendation? Um, reading out loud. If you have a book in English, of course, you can read out loud. So you're going to be practicing your pronunciation. And also, there are some websites, or well, if you go to YouTube, you can find some reading. You're going to be listening to the reading and at the same time, you can speak. You can practice your speaking. This is, let me show you. I guess I have an example here. Self-pronunciation. I guess sometimes this is the difficult part, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Secular pronunciation. For example, you know, in my case, I was hesitating about this pronunciation, you know? It happens as a teacher. Me pasó ahora que estaba dudando la palabra 
diversidad. Diversity. Diversity, diversity, yes. diversity and I was, you know, back in my mind, like, <laughs> diversity, 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 diversity. Porque confundimos el español con el inglés a veces. ¿no? Yes, yes. So that, what that, did I do? I went to the translator. I type, I, I type the word and I was listening. So if you are not sure about the pronunciation for any specific word, go to your cell phone, type it in, in the translator, and then you listen. And then you practice and practice again. Eso ayuda bastante. If you are not sure about the pronunciation, vamos a ver, reading, reading, practice. Practice. I really like to do this type of exercises. Let me see. Look. Reading practice. So you're gonna be listening and then speaking. So we can imitate the pronunciation. Improve your pronunciation in English. So this is the main goal. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So do it, you know, let's do it. Let's do this. Escuchar y pronunciar, you know. Esto es muy útil, very useful. And what I really like from this type of exercises is that you can also practice different type of vocabulary because the reading passages are about different type of vocabulary, you know, topics. You can be talking about food, about sports, about, you know, uh, daily activities. There are so many topics. So this is one of the recommendations. Anything else? Algo más que le gustaría to reinforce um, during this course? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh... Mm -hmm. Something like uh, uh, the birds, uh, like uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, phrasal birds, many oh. phrasal birds. Yes. 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 Because there are so many, so many meanings for 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 uh, <laughs> different types of phrasal birds. Yes, you know, because phrasal birds they make us sound as an advanced speakers yes that's right so i recommend you to have a big list of phrasal verbs you know because we can find many phrasal verbs on the web and you can also find list a big list in of phrasal verbs so take from five to ten phrasal verbs every week and then you find out about the meaning and you find out about the pronunciation and you write a sentence you know and then during that week from monday through sunday you keep on practicing the phrasal verbs talk to yourself okay uno mismo se habla if i don't have no one to practice with talk to yourself and then next week I take another group of phrasal verbs and I continue practicing. So make this like a habit, you know, hagámoslo un hábito, so you can express yourself in an advanced way. Yes, this is very useful, you know. And also, siempre que tengamos la oportunidad, for example, in the class, in a class, oh, now or today we are talking about jobs. We are talking about cultural diversity. Y busquemos qué phrasal verb can I use, you know, or can I um, apply in this context? So that's going to be very useful. Phrasal verbs. Very good job. Me gusta eso de los phrasal verbs. Eh, otra cosa, los... Jarons, casi no los usamos. Es una estructura que casi no usamos, so we don't know how to use it. Los jarons and infinitives. I recommend you to use them as well. Usémoslo también, ¿ok? ¿Qué más? What else? Eh, 
I, I, there are, I, I don't know, is there, are, uh, um, I, I, I teach math, uh, I teach math ah, in, okay, okay. in eighth, eighth grade and ninth grade, math okay. is in English. It's in, in English. English. I, okay. Yes, yes. My books are in English, and and uh, I talk to the students uh, uh, something in between because they need to adapt to the uh, in in high school. They they receive maths in Spanish, and they need yeah. to make the translation. Yeah. But uh, I, I speak to them sometimes. Some little phrases in, in English, but mostly in Spanish to, to get the adaptation. Oh, okay. But the books are, are all the books are, are in English and the they are bilingual. Some of my students are bilingual. They okay. speak English so good, so well. And uh, uh, their teacher, or grammar teacher or ESL teacher, or or they have a, a many English classes. Mm -hmm. uh, the grammar teacher uh, teach them uh, about the uh, structure of the sentence. Oh, yes, right. The structure of the sentence. I, I don't know. Like the grammar the, part. We, yes, yes. If we can talk a, a little about that, uh, something like that object, uh, prepositions. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. The, the, the part of a speech. I the don't know. Is the part of a speech? speech? Yes. So something like that, yes? Yes. The part of the speech, what is preposition, what is the conjunction, okay. what is uh, very good. Uh, 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 the last module we talk something about the paid conjunction, but uh, yeah, but only the first part, and, and that, that's all. And we need to know more about that. The pair conjunction, the, the specific yeah. paired conjunction of uh, la, like, mm -hmm. uh, yes, right. So, yes, yes, you need to concentrate mostly on like a specific grammar topics, right? Or yes. at least to have the idea. In this sentence, how do I call each of the words in the sentence, right? Or to identify, oh, this is a pair conjunction. Oh, this is a gerund, this is a verb. Is that what you want to do? Identify? Yes, yes, like, hey, yes. Hey, okay, okay, I really yes. like that. So I'm gonna be yeah, doing that as well because remember, yeah, maybe English para el trabajo yeah is mainly focused on general topics. For example, today we were talking about uh, ethnicity and all of those topics, but some of or most of the time we don't give like in a specific time for grammar. But yes, I'm going to do that, and please any type of questions, you can do it during the class, okay? Ask me, teacher, how do we say this in English? Or what is this in English, you know? For example, today we were working in these um, sentences, en las oraciones trabajamos. So, yes. ask me, don't worry. Pueden preguntarme para que podamos dejar eso claro. So, any other comments or questions? Or estamos bien? Are we okay? Yes, yes, that's all, teacher. Yes. So, thank you so much for staying, David. <laughs> Voy a tomar muy en cuenta sus eh, comentarios, you know? No son nada eh, diferentes a lo que he escuchado. Ya tuve a Andrés el primer día, and he was expressing the same. Lo mismo me dijo, teacher, I need to know about grammar. Es importante saber de gramática, o por lo menos distinguir cómo se llama cada Yes. So, you see? Excellent. So thank you so much. And we are <laughs> thank going you, to meet tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye, David. Have a great night. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.